so hello everyone and uh, welcome back uh, with the uh, last episode of your talk uh, it's a national talk uh, in terms with the uh, the uva students joining from various cities of the country from various chapters and uh, i have with me meenal who is the uva uh, lead for gift in organ and uh, we have uh, you are students from bhopal indore pune bangalore and delhi uh, a good panel again uh, dominated by the women power so definitely the future holds in the hands of women and uh, they have been the voice uh, for various initiatives yesterday also we had lot of women a uh, lot of girls who were coming and uh, uh, sharing their ideas on uh, uh, on climate change and today it is all about gift and organ so thank you for uh, putting your thoughts and voices for the very important uh, um, project which why i leads which is uh, gift and organ uh, uh, this is a very noble uh, initiative and a uh, lot of uva students also we have found that this year they have taken pledges of gifting organ so it's a very important topic to do, to discuss and plan the future and uh, i really thank ayush uh, nishika vibhuti disha shrishti and aarti for joining in and expressing their views uh, special thanks to meenal our uh, you are gift and organ coordinator uh, so over to you meenal uh, thank you for this and uh, thank you for hosting i would request you to start this discussion with your experience of being a gift in organ you are your know, lead for bhopal and then you can uh, take it out from here so all the best uh, looking forward to hear you thank you so much sir for your invaluable words it is my privilege to welcome you you have always been the support and without you all this would not have been possible Hello everyone I am Minal Gur from Yuva Gift and Organ Bhopal and will be your moderator for today's Yuva talk It is an honor and privilege for me to welcome all our panelists and all our listeners to the YI Bhopal Yuva talks YI Bhopal has always looked out for leaving its mark whether it has been for public issues or humanity Gift and Organ is one of such initiatives as we all know any country is viewed through the people living in that means a nation is said to be healthy when its people are healthy hence it is necessary to educate our youth and to provide them with the details of every sector of the world and thus the main target of this vertical became about spreading awareness among people about organ donation the myths in everyone's head needed to be removed and as a youth we worked for it doing a significant work in this field has led all of us together even in the pandemic So let's start today's your talk on the topic future of organ donation. Now I would like to introduce you all with our panelists Aarti Lohar from Pune, Ayush Agarwal from Bhopal, Disha Dubey from Bhopal, Nishika Vyas from Indore, Vibhuti Tripathi from Delhi and Shishti Mishra from Bangalore. So let's begin this with Aarti Lohar. I would like to request you Aarti to give your views on the topic. Thank you Meenal. After I die if I am buried I will rot if I am burnt I'll become ash but if my organs are donated I will live to give life and happiness to many cordial salutations to everyone out there I Aarti Lohar from Pune feel privileged to get this golden opportunity to speak on the most salient topic future of organ donation as it is rightly said it takes lives to save lives and organ donation is all about about this organ donation is basically the process when a person allows an organ of his own to be removed and get transplanted to the other person legally either by own consent or the consent of next kin people donate their eyes cornea heart bones kidneys in order to save the lives of others there is nothing more beautiful than someone who goes out of their way to make the life beautiful for others and there are angels who donate organs and make the needy life lustrous donors are like a magic wand for the people who really need a magic in their lives and their magic wand would make their life happier the need for organ donation will grow substantially because of enormous change in the people's lifestyle and their schedule 
statistical data tells that from 1991, there were about 6,953 donors until 2019, it reached up to 19,267 donors. Such an expeditious change in the number of donors. But as the number of donors is increasing day by day, the number of people who need these organs is also getting doubled. There are n number of people who are really in need for getting an organ to live a happy life again. People advertise for the need of an organ, but donors outside there are not ready to donate it. There are many factors which affect them like biological, social, economical, emotional and legal barriers. But there are some benevolent people like 22-year-old Suraj Bahubai from Surat. He donated his heart. His family supported him after his death. His family passed all the biological the legal barriers and donated his heart to the needy. He really deserves great esteem and pride. The future of organ donation is what scientists have been working on the project in which people no longer have to wait for human donors and minimal chances of rejection and death will be reduced. In future, anyone who is in need of an organ would receive a personalized organ generated in lab from his own cells and tissues. These projects can be implemented in future to make the rate of organ donation decrease so that people who really need donors could save their lives on their own. As the tissues and cells of the needy will undergo multiple tests and modifications, he will be a donor himself. 3D bioprinting technologies are at the heart of many projects, which could serve as a boon for millions of people all around. Measures like Scientists making real progress towards engineering functional tissues of organs would really accelerate the organ donation. These policies, technologies and research, if implemented in a right way and executed in a right way, would surely, surely make the future of, of organ donation bright and lustrous. Eventually, people who are not getting access to organs at the right time will not have to suffer. The system which comes in all round between this is known as Green Corridor System. Basically, the Green Corridor System is a special route where all the street signals between the hospital where the organ is harvested and the hospital where it is transplanted are manually operated to avoid red signals. But as we know, this transportation system could create a terrific chaos and inconvenience to the general public. So, to prevent such risk, early stated policy is in implementation. Construction of special roadways specifically for this purpose may also turn out to be a great alternative in the long run. The future is in the air routes, which is a much faster viable option. Air ambulances are the best option and will definitely be used in the future. Air ambulances have already been deployed to transport organs between cities in India and initial talks have begun with government officials to make their use more prevalent. Of course, lack of relevant infrastructure for airlifting organs mean that for now green corridors remain the simplest and most effective option. I firmly believe that this would pave a way for a bright and secure future of organ donation. To conclude, I'd say that February 14 represents more than roses and candy hearts. It is National Donor Day. We as youth must understand the importance of this day. We hope for a gradual decrease in the number of people needing organ replacement so that everyone in this world leads a blazing and blooming life ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aarti, for your views on the topic. And as you said, that if my organs are donated, I will live to give life and happiness to many. I think this line in itself conveys so many thoughts. Thank you once again. Next, we have with us Ayush Agarwal. Ayush, I request you to share your views on the topic. Thank you, Meenal. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ayush Agarwal. The supply of organs available for the transplantation is already sm far smaller than the demand and the demand may grow rapidly in the near future. For this reason, it is timely to consider how organ functions might be replaced in the fusion. In this communication, we consider new technologies that might be used to replace organ functions. 
the obstacles to apply new technologies and now those obstacles can be overcome in the developing of new strategies for the organ re replacement the future of organ replacement will be conditioned on three variables the first variable is the need particularly how the number of organs to be replaced will change over time the second variable is the set of applications and new technologies that will be implemented and replace those organs the third variable is the set of obstacles that may hinder the replacement of organ functions stem cell generated organs and bio artificial organs can be said as the future of organ transplantation where stem cells can be used to repair a diseased organ cloning new organs from stem cells is another way that stem cell can aid people without the donor organs cloning is the act of reprogramming cells by replacing its nucleus with the another cell so it becomes the genetically equivalent to the original bio artificial organs develop in, involves the genetic uh, design modification growth and maintenance of living tissues embedded in the natural or synthetic form to enable them to perform complex biochemical functions including adaptive control and the replacement of normal living tissues so the conclusion is organ donation by living donors clearly save lives improves transplantations overcomes under some circumstances and reduces recipient waiting time it also includes opportunity for waiting patient with living donors to receive organs from a deceased donor and basically as we know that stem cells and bio artificial uh, organs can help in the future of the future of organ transplantation thank you thank you ayush and yes as you said the demands will increase in the coming future we should keep all these three variables in our mind thank you once again now next we have disha dubey disha i request you to tell us what do you think about the topic future of organ donation thank you meena hello everyone and good afternoon i am disha dubey from bhopal and it is my privilege today to be present here and be a part of this panel and speak on this prominent topic that is the future of organ donation Organ transplantations are one of the greatest achievements that modern science and medicine have gained. A significant number of deaths can be avoided if organ transplantations take place at the right time. For some people suffering from end-stage organ failure, it is in fact a matter of life and death. The power of organ donation is definitely underrated. One deceased organ donor can save up to as many as 50 lives, so we can imagine how important it is. to discuss this issue and spread awareness about this i would like to state that how each organ has specific use when donated so as to lay emphasis on its importance the corneas of the eye help restore vision of nearly everyone who has reduced eyesight the sclera which is the white part of the eye is also used to rebuild eardrums which in surgeries can restore up to 90% of hearing skin tissue is used to or help burn victims bones donated are used for bones damaged by tumors traumas and infections this would save limbs from being amputated the organs transplanted are the heart lungs pancreas kidneys and small intestine even the donation of heart valves and blood vessels take place some organs like the kidney or part of a liver can be donated by a donor while living now since we have to talk about the future of organ donation i feel it is necessary to look into the current situation of the same in our country well according to statistics the number of transplants done annually has been gradually rising but there are still number of issues although india has performed the second largest number of transplants in the world in 2019 it lags far behind the western nations like spain united states and united kingdom with donation rate of only 0.05 per million which is due to its high population but only around 0.01% of people in india do donate their organs after death so it we can see say that there has been a lack of awareness among people with regard to deceased organ donation the concept of brain death and the process of organ transplantation absence of a centralized agency to maintain a registry of donors as well as recipients and ensure maximum utilization of organs is also one of the issues so once these issues get enough attention there will be a significant change nonetheless the future does look promising new technologies including stem cells tissue engineering xenotransplantation all have potential for replacing or augmenting organ function 
Organizations like Mohan, which is one of the front running NGOs promoting and taking up the cause of organ donation in India, will play a significant role in the future of organ donation in our country. At last, I would like to say that organ donation is something which is more important than people realize. I think it is one of the most honorable deeds that anyone can do. And as a youth, it is our responsibility to bring more and more people together for this cause. Thank you so much. Rightly said, organ donation is something more than the people realize. And I think as a youth, we are all are working for it, for spreading awareness among people about organ donation. Thank you so much, Desha, for your thoughts. Now, next, we have Vibhuti Tripathi. Vibhuti, we all would like to hear your views on the today's topic. Thank you so much, Meenal, for giving me this opportunity. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as we all know, we all have heard organ donation can change life. And we all have likely heard an inspiration donation story. Statics tells us that one person can donate eight life savings organ, as well as tissues and cornea that can drastically improve the life of another 75 people. When the body's factory shut down, organ donors are angels of mercy. Organ transplantation involves the surgical implantation of an organ or section of an organ into a person whose own organ is failing. The donor's organ may come from both deceased individual as well as from a living donor. 2nd of September marks the start of Organ Donation Week, a time to highlight the importance of organ donation and celebrate the selfness of donors. Currently, over 6,000 people People in each country are waiting for an organ transplantation and sadly around three dying waiting. The supply of organ available for transplantation is already far smaller than the demand and the demand may grow substantially in the near future. For this reason, it is timely to consider how organ function might be replaced in future. In this communication, I shall consider new technologies that might can be considered for replacing organ function. The obstacle to new technologies and those new obstacles might be overcome with the development of new strategies for organ replacement. A growing need for transplantation would make the question of which new technology should be applied to addressing the need even more compelling. LO transplantation already fails far by to address the demand need of cadaver, lungs, kidneys, and livers. Perhaps there are some organs that can be replaced by cadaver donation or use of living tissues. Still, allo transplantation cannot wisely larger number of organs that can be sought. Accordingly, considering the merit of other technologies, include zener transplantation, implantable devices, stem cells, tissue engineering, and organogenesis, and zener transplantation can be considered. Now, for future of organ donation, more donors could be available. For promoting awareness among people, from our part, we should organize more webinars, camp, spreading awareness among the people, as the main problem which we see is there is lack of awareness among the people. So we can organize webinars. Also, we can ask our healthcare workers so they can promote more in their colleges and hospitals also, from a part of government, we should ask them to raise more funds so that new technologies can be involved and introduced so that there should be more life-saving areas. At last, I would like to say success should be benchmarked by how well we create new cross routes, support for advancing clinical transplantation, funding science, and making more progressive public policy that benefit everyone involved in the process. It is completely logical and compiling piece of supporting transplantation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Vibhuti. And I would like to pay focus on one of your lines, which you said that when the body's factory shut down, organ donors are angels of mercy. And I think that's exactly what it feels to like to be an organ donor, to help someone who is in need. And that's why we are calling them angels of mercy. Thank you once again for your wonderful thoughts. Now, ha now we have with us Shishti Mishra. Shishti, please put forward your thoughts. Hello, everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So, as Aarti quoted, after I die, if I am buried, I will rot. If I am burned, I'll become ash. But if my body is donated, I'll live to give life and happiness to many. 
This quote is potent enough in itself to define the importance of organ donation. As we are here to have a healthy discussion on future of organ donation, the very first step we need to take is clearing is clarifying myths about organ donation because we are the future and we are supposed to ring the bell for this great welfare work. As we know, little knowledge is more dangerous than no knowledge in itself, and there are many misleading myths in our society. which are required to be treated before they turn into a lesion so here i am srishti mishra from bangalore with some frequent myths that i came across with their actual facts the very first myth i came was if i am in an accident and the hospital knows that i am designated as a donor the doctors and staff won't try to save my life but this is totally wrong this is number one reason people don't put organ donor on their driver's license in actuality hospital staff will do everything they possibly can to save your life life donor program is not notified until life saving efforts have failed the transplant team is not even allowed to do surgery without the permission of the deceased family the second myth that i came across was my family will be charged if i donate my organs but this is totally wrong The organ donor's family is never charged for donating. The family is charged for the final effort to save your life, but the cost for organ removal go to the transplant recipient. The third myth that I came across was age matters to be a donor, but I think there is no set age limit for organ and tissue donation. The fourth myth is organ donation is against my religion, but what what but what fact says is nothing it's nothing to do with religion i guess no religion is going to stop you to help somebody the only religion organ donation supports is humanity and brotherhood the fifth myth i came across was deceased body will be damaged and will affect the funeral rites but the reason but the reason behind is people are afraid more about the rituals but the thing is no through the entire donation process the body is treated with such care and respect it's not even understood that okay the person has been gone something behind like organ donation or something it's not like that it, it's not even recognizable even ki ha kuch hua bhi tha us insaan ke sath it's totally normal to go through with that so after all these myths the only fact is that one organ donor can impact the lives of up to eight transplant recipients which include parts like heart liver kidneys pancreas lungs and what not one tissue donor can help hundreds of people cornea donors give the gift of sight to two people skin donors help burn victims recover from the traumatic injury because it's really easy to sit here with whole working body all five senses working and talk about people who are actually suffering from something they want to live a normal life and we are so ungratefully living our normal life so what about giving them a chance after we have lived our very own so that they can come and come up and live their life to their fullest so with this i would like to sum up my part and with this motto like let's live life to the fullest and then leave a life for others to live i totally agree with disha that people mainly our youth needs to understand that organ donation is far more important than people realize thank you so much meenal for having me here for such an alarming discussion i am really honored to be a part of this great venture thank you thank you so much shishti and i think your facts will uh, guide so many people out there and will make them to come forward for organ donation thank you so much and in the last now we have nishika vyas nishika please put forward your thoughts i guess nishika left again because of her network issues so let us continue this with our question answer round so i have one question for all of you so what do you think how covid 19 has affected organ donation the covid 19 pandemic and the nationwide lockdown have stopped nearly all organ donations in india social distancing rules imposed since march and widespread fear of corona virus infections in the hospitals have left thousands of people in need of various organs uncertain about their future later this problem medical professors have set up proper guidelines and certain protocols so that 
both the donor and the recipient are safe. And in this, it has given us more clarity to how procedures must be carried out in such a pandemic situation. I wish you can also put forward your views. COVID-19 pandemic, organ donation and transplant surgeries, and the need for donation have become a halt. The cost of coronavirus disease is huge and has badly affected aligned patients who are in need of organ transplants. The organ transplantation program was temporarily suspended due to the lockdown of coronavirus. Patients with end-stage diseases such as kidney, liver, heart and lung failures are worried following the COVID-19 pandemic. While kidney failure patients can improve their health conditions with continuous diagnosis. Although are at a slightly higher risk of uh, contracting COVID-19. However, the ray of hope for a patient with a failing liver, heart, or lung disease is now a question. The impact of COVID-19 and delaying transplant has now become catastrophic. Uh, hello, everyone. The uh, COVID-19 in recent months has had a substantial impact on the transplant community. The potential for virus trans, uh, transmission from donor to recipients and from to and from healthcare workers has imposed new and significant risk, altering the ability to safely recover organs and perform transplants. Patients are consulting doctors via telecounseling. There is also a section of patients not responding to the follow up as they have financial and other social constraints. The Jeevan Dan program, which is the government scheme has noted zero donations in May and July. In April, there were three, and it is only in September that there have been 12 donations. So light donation is in itself a challenge, and now it requires a proper non-COVID section to opt for these donations. Hello, everyone. Uh, the coronavirus disease 2019 pandemic has had an impact on all facets of our health care system, including life-saving procedures like organ trans transplantation. Concerns for potential exposure to the causative severe acute respiratory syndrome, a co coronavirus type 2, has profoundly altered the process of organ donation and recovery that is vital to the execution of organ transplantation. Issues regarding adequate donor evolution and consent, organ recovery, and organ uh, procurement, procurement organization and donor hospital resources, as well as the transpla transplant centers' acceptance of organ offers for their candidates, have all required new practice paradigms. Consequently, the ability to treat patients with organ failure, in particularly uh, in particular patients with end-stage life di uh, disease, in whom no temporizing treatment exists, and to obtain expect expected excellent outcomes for new liver transplant recipient, has been challenged during the time. So we summarize some of the negative effects of the uh, current pandemic on organ recovery and liver transplantation, as well as offer consideration and strategies for their mitigation that could have a lasting impact on the field even after the coronavirus disease has waned. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. As we all know that coronavirus is going on, it has been badly impacted everyone. As this is a pandemic and it has affected donor organ donation and this is unknown. Like no, there is no such thing that we have heard that organ donation has been affected. But this has been affected very badly. Nowadays, the government have issued new guidelines for those who wish to donate their organs. The guideline states that if a person is infected and is positive with coronavirus is not eligible for donating their organ. Also, the person who has asymptomatic, uh, like there's no symptoms of having coronavirus, but has been, been positive, is also not included in the process of organ donation. The person who has been near to any infected person within 28 is not eligible for donation. The person who falls negative for any organ donation has to go under a investigation that is there any involvement of that person with any person who is infected or something. With this, all these considerations the government has made, this is all necessary. But because of this, already there was very less number of donors. And due to these decisions and guidelines, the number of 
donors has already been falling all these uh, things are mandatory though these current recommendations are responsible there are broad and many to be difficult to implement them in practice for those who are in urgent need of organ transplantation it is very impossible and becoming very hard for them to arrange organ because of this pandemic as everyone has to go through a test which is mandatory if you are going for any organ donation so for those who are in urgent need or the patient who is in critical condition are facing a lot of issues also the availability of organ transplant center resources is ba not balanced for urgent transportations they also have to go for some clinical trials and etc so because of this pandemic there is no urgent availability of organ transplantation and due to which many patient are even losing their lives so because of covid it is very difficult for organ transplantation but maybe with time sooning it will be like affected or less thank you hello everyone uh, i think corona has affected a lot because the incident and impact of corona virus disease 2019 has varied enormously across the globe the pandemic has negatively impacted organ donation and transplantation in many countries that have experienced high rates of infection including the united states france and united kingdom all reporting less than 50% reduction in transplant activity australia has experienced a significant significantly lower incidence of covid-19 but despite this the impact and organ transplantation has been insignificant thank you thank you all for your views and yeah i think there are some certain problems which have arisen due to covid but soon we will have some procedure to overcome all of those Now I would like to request our last panelist to put forward her view. Sorry, Nishika, we lost you in between, but now you can continue. Thank you so much, Meenal, for giving me the opportunity once again. Um, hello, everyone. Good afternoon to one and all present here. Uh, my name is Nishika Vyas from Indore. according to me organ donation is the process when a person allows an organ of their own to be removed and transplanted to another person legally either by consent while the donor is alive or dead with the assent of the person organ donation takes healthy organs and tissues from one person for transplantation into another experts say that the organ from one donor can save or help as many as 50 people organs you can donate include kidneys heart liver pancreas intestine lungs skin bone and bone marrow cornea etc most organ and tissue donation occur after the donor has died but some organs and tissues can be donated while the donor is alive people of all ages and background can be do uh, organ donor if you are under age 18 your parent or guardian must give you permission to become a donor if you are 18 or older you can show you want to be a donor by signing a donor card Organ transplantation is facing major changes after a long time of small step improvements recent scientific advances may provide innovative solutions to fundamental unresolved barriers organ scarcity is among the most important ones despite sustained efforts through remarkable medical and political initiatives in most countries the number of available organs is not sufficient and the number of patients waiting for a transplant continues to grow This focus issue of transplant international presents a selection of approaches based on scientific innovation which might contribute to overcome this problem. So with this I would like to conclude that with organ donation you will be giving the gift of life what a legacy to leave behind. Thank you. Yes it will be exciting to see how technology will help us to overcome the challenges in the demand for future organ donation thank you so much nishika and thank you everyone for joining in and enlightening us with your thoughts and how you feel organ donation is something important and everyone should know its importance and we will really share this with everyone thank you so much and in the last i would like to thanks once again dr anuj kart sir for being a part of the discussion and giving us an opportunity a platform to discuss all this with everyone thank you so much sir and it will be great to close this with your remarks 
yes thank you uh, meenal and uh, it was nice listening i was in there for a for some time and then going out but uh, let's keep this topic on in our discussion in our um, posts in our uh, at least if we can commit a uh, one hour in a week for talking about organ donation spreading it with your colleagues and uh, make it a voice of india which young indians stand for so thank you so much meenal and everyone in the show for their valuable uh, inputs and uh, that's all from my side Ah, uh, Minal, you are on mute. You are on mute, Minal. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's it. I think Minal is in mute and his uh, video is also off. So, anyways, I think uh, uh, we are done. We'll probably wait for Minal for some time, and yes, she has joined in. Yes, yes sir. Please. Over to you. So, so we are done. Everything is over. So, so thank you so much, and uh, 